Hi, so I'm going to show you a quick tip today in Unity and that is how to trigger an animation by pressing the space bar. Okay, so let's go to create, 3D object, go to sphere, go to the animation tab, press create, and we'll call that ball anim01. Okay, so we need to create this animation, so press the record button here. Your start point is wherever you tell it, at zero frames. Bring it, so bring it up to say 30 frames, move it around a bit. And then let's try a ping pong effect. So let's cut this first frame and paste that there. So that's how our animation is going to look. Really basic, really simple. Okay, deselect animation. So now what we want to do is trigger this when you press the space bar. Um, okay, the first thing we need to look at is the animator tab. This is what's reading this animation that you just created. When I press play now, as you can see, the ball is going to be moving already. The animation is already going to be playing. But we, we, want, we want to tell this, this animation here to play when we press space, uh, not straight away. So, okay, let, let's stop this. So to do that, zoom in there, let's go right click, create state, empty. Okay, this is a default static state with nothing in it. <coughs> and we go to right click, set as, de set as default state. <coughs> so now when, when the game begins, nothing will happen. And nothing is happening, so that's good. So what we need to tell Unity to do is to call this animation here that you created when you press space. So to do that, to create a new C sharp script, call it ball trigger 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 doesn't matter ball trigger 01. Okay, so double click here to open up your scripting editor. I'm using Visual Studio, but Mono Develop will work just as well. It's the one that comes with Unity. Okay, so we need to tell it so it's some really basic scripting. Um, all, so all we need to tell Unity is uh, if I press space, then trigger this animation, play this animation. So in Unity language, in C-sharp language, that is just type in if inputs dot get key down, open bracket key code dot space. Okay, come to the end there curly brackets. So, okay, so if the spacebar is pressed, then we want to play the animation. <coughs> so, to do that, in Unity, if you look at the sphere, you can see the animator, the animator component here. So we want C Sharp to call that out. We want, we want C Sharp to recognize that um, in our script. So, to do that, we go to Get Component, Animator, brackets and play whoops so it's about animator wrong let's see how I can do that open brackets and the name of our animation which is ball anim 01 as you can see here and here so you need to make sure anim 01 you need to make sure the spelling is correct on that otherwise you're going to have some problems down the line so save that that's all the scripting we need so, yeah, find the animator, play the animation. One thing we're missing is we need to find a sphere. We need to attach this script to the sphere. So let's find that. You can put it on here, either here or on your inspector here. Make sure it's right at the bottom if you do that, when it turns blue, that line. Okay, so now when we press play, we should have our animation triggered. So play, okay, I'm gonna press space. And there you go. Game Design 101. Well done.